Hello and welcome to this video on Wire Jungle. It's a little mini guide on how to play her very well. So I ended up 8 and 0 in this game. I think 8 and 1 actually. Um, I started blue side because I wanted to gank top and with my red buff. So I go ahead and clear the camp and I head towards red side. I know Elise is probably jungling against me. So she's pretty much not going to come over via can probably kill her 1v1. So I take red. And I'm quite low HP, so I decided to do the scuttle crab. You get some HP back as well off that if you've got a certain mastery. So unfortunately, my top laner died, but I did pick up a kill. I burnt flash as well to guarantee it. And at this point, I'm sitting on more gold than the enemy jungler, so I want to pretty much buy and head back and get the advantage. So I look for another gank. Sadly, we couldn't get anything off. So I decided to go back as well. And then fortunately Fiora got a kill. So that lane's pretty much not one but she's evened it out. She's back on gold. She might have a level advantage as well. So clearing the camp should always clear whatever side has the most uh, camps on as well available. And also work out where you're going to be and where you're going to go as well. So I knew that I'm either going to go B here or I'm going to go top again. So you really want to pressure lanes that you, there's a bit of action at. You don't want to just keep ganking all the lanes. You want to focus on one lane or two lanes. So here Katarina, I got her with the smite as well. So if there is a death as well, always look. Always see what's happening. Because their enemy laner will probably be low even if they got a kill. Probably go on and kill them as well. Now I've got the full jungle item and it's a huge spike for why. Especially with our ultimate as well. So... From there you should be able to snowball the game, or yourself, if you've got one or two kills, especially if you're ahead of the enemy jungler. I mean I've got blue buff here and red, the bot's pushed. And you always want to be aware where their enemy jungler is, well. think for that. Now just some things about Vi, she's very strong AD Vi at the moment, um, doing the black cleaver build is very good on her. Don't go use Ghost Blade, I've seen a few people do that, it's not very strong. Uh, you can get tanky items on her as well. Uh, Dead Man's Plate is very good on her. I don't usually buy Icebone Gauntlet, but if you do really want Trinity Force, is very good. Frozen Mallet sometimes can be good. So there you go. With Vi, once you've got the Warrior Enchantment, pretty much the ADC is dead. Especially mid game. Right now, I'm free to pretty much gank any lane. Top lane, no Lowry is kind of hard to kill with our as well. So, I really want to be focusing on Drake, Drake control and helping out mid because I thought Fiora is pretty much one top lane now. So, that's the idea of how you can snowball with Vi. She's very good at ganking top lane. 2v1 situation, she's very good. She offers a lot of CC. So, I hope that helps. And thanks for watching.